Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I want us to talk about how James Ongwae, the former governor of Kisi County, came out taming Raila Amolo Dinga and daring them not to go and have rallies and barazas in Kisi County. Today, Ongwae has already gotten his medicine. And the medicine of Ongwae and other political failures in Kisi County, it is none other than Simba Arati. When you look at the way that meeting and barraza and rallies were planned in Kisi region, it was to show that Ongwae, you are a failure. At that time that Raila Odinga was supporting you, Raila Odinga holds your hands two times as a governor of Kisi County. Then after that, you are now betraying Raila Odinga, calling him all sorts of names. Then you expect people to follow you. I want you to, of course, watch a video of Simba Arati and Raila Odinga also responding to James Ongwai that look, we were the people that holds your hands while you were vying for governor since 2013 and 2017. Then after getting governorship for two terms, you're starting your route of betraying us, now destroying our names in, in the name of you supporting the current president of the Republic of Kenya. And the way Simbarati came out responding to Ongwai, this was an indication that James Ongwai, the former governor of Kisi County, and others that came addressing people on the press, they are failures and they don't have followers as you speak now. And as time goes by, ladies and gentlemen, as I want you to watch those videos, these people are going to regret. They are going to regret because they are thinking if William Ruto is the president, now he's going to control Kisi region, Nyamira, and other parts and counties of Nyanza region. So watch the video of Simba Arati first, then it will follow with, the, uh, of course, the video of Raila Amolo Odinga. <laughs> Sikizi hapa ni nyumbani kwangu. Eh? Eh? Watu ambao mimi nimewasaidia si mimi wajua? Anasema mimi nisikuje. Eh? Nikao nililuida si barati nikuje nisikuje. Akaniambia mimi nikuje. Kwa fujo kabisa. Simekuja. Mwambie bwana Ongwai. Ka kimya bwana ka kimya. Poa, 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 poa. Tuko na mambo mingi ya kufanya Sasa unawana jamaa wameanza vitisho Vitisho ya vipujo Wanaenda kubamia matiangi kwa nyumba yake Ata wanatafuta ushahidi Natafuta ushahidi Kama wana taku shitaki mutu suwe huku na ushahidi tiari Sio Sio wana kuenda kutafuta ushahidi kwa nyumba yake Yee, walikuwa nataka kuweka kitu ndani ya nyumba ya, ya matiangi ni waende wakamishika hii na hii. Nisema wana matiangi ya likuwa waziri wa ulinzi. I think you have watched those videos. And it is very clear that the storm of Raelo Dinga and Simba Arati in Kisi, it is identification and signal that these people are still together. I watched a certain news and also a certain analysis where someone was saying that Simba Arati was now betraying Raila Muludinga joining William Muruto, which according to me, I have never come out to analyze about Simba Arati. Simba Arati betraying Raila Odinga. It is like today you can come and say that Babu Wino is going to betray Raila Odinga. It is not possible. It is not possible. Another thing, I want you to be keen enough. These people who are calling press conference, people like James Songwai in Kisi region, those from Nyamira, I saw them. 
Then I saw Tomo Jenda from Kisumu County, Senate of Kisumu County, sending certain goons of him in Yamelipa, coming out to address Raila Murudinga. <laughs> then someone, Karuli Omondi, came out also sending his goons before the press conference to address Raila Murudinga that he's doing bad thing. Then I saw it also people from game constituency, Elisha Odiambo, coming also to address, of course, the press conference, that they went to state house to bring development to the people of their areas. I want to ask them and let them go and refer to David Ochim of Ugenya constituency. These people are going to pass a lot of challenge when it comes to the politics of 2027. That is the pure reality. Even if still this team will not have the government, I want to tell you, these people are going to face a challenge. And a challenge is one, they are going to be denied RDM ticket. That is number one. And after in Nyanza, when you have been already denied RDM ticket, mark my words, you like it, you don't like it. You will not get it. In the same, you can refer to, of course, um, uh, Evan Skidero in Homabe. Evan Skidero in Homabe also was denied, was denied ODM ticket. After some people say that Kidero was a betrayer, was not someone that will stand with the Raelo Dinga. And that was why they gave to, of course, Gladys Wanga. Kidero felt like he was betrayed. He went with the independent, but still he was defeated. The same thing is going to happen as Tomo Jenda is planning to vie as a governor of Kisumu County. Because currently, he's the senator of Kisumu County. Because when Raila Odinga installed Tomo Jenda in Kisumu, he knew that after, uh, of course, Anyang Nyomo, it was Tomo Jenda. And Tomo Jenda was going to sweep. But as long as Tomo Jenda is going to be denied ODM party, it is only ODM party. Then after ODM party, you will start saying that I'm going with any other political party or I will go with independent. I want to tell you, Kisumu, you cannot and you will not win without, of course, ODM ticket. The same to Karol Yomoni. You cannot win without... Or I know some people will say, don't say that the politics is changing. No. Nyanza, I'm telling you, Nyanza, at the storm that Raila Odinga is preparing, this storm that is continuing to, of course to be hiked up, I want to tell you, these people will not um, f uh, like it. It is not going to be favorable. And that is why you see people like David Ochin, uh, currently, currently, even as we speak now, uh, Jalamo and this ODM rebels uh, met, of course, regarding Gachagua today. I saw a photo. I saw a photo. And by the way, I have not seen David Ochin. And David Ochin is like, pulling himself. He wants to, of course, apologize so that he can be accepted. Because he understands that in the government of William Ruto, he will not get something. And again, when it comes to election of Nyanza, he will not get anything. And that is why he's trying to pull himself and distance himself with William Ruto's government. But those who are trying to force themselves, Kiburi Mewaja, people like Jalango now, meeting these people now frequently. This is more than development. It is more than development. It is a plan. And I've seen Jalamo saying that he's a member of parliament of Nyanza region. He's not a member of parliament of Nyanza region. The way he has done it, he cannot even win a seat in Nyanza region. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And you will see this happening. So the storm of Simbarati and Raila Odinga today in Kisi has already signal, signal, signalized to these people who were coming the other day, taming Raila Murudinga, daring him to have a rally in Kisi. In fact, the stadium was full. The stadium was full and people... Uh, so the truth is, Ongwae must come to his realization that he is not fighting for the people of Kisi currently. He is fighting for his own stomach. So that he can get CSS. That is whatever these people are trying to be, at least political relevant before William Ruto, so that Ruto can, can identify and see these people are fighting for me. Let me give them.
That's just whatever these people are doing. But in a side of my opinion, I want to say this rebel from Nyanza region, Mark Mount. Only Mount Kenya, rebels will survive in Mount Kenya. <laughs> that is the only thing. Mount Kenya and some rebels, rebels in Western might, might survive. But in Nyanza, you are a rebel. Then you are telling me that you are going to win. No, you will not. So the storm has already identified that Raila Odinga is having is still having the ground in Nyanza region. Ladies and gentlemen, what can you tell James Ongwai? And drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel and also put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much. Bye bye. Till you meet on another video.